Yo, it was good, everybody. Today, I just wanted to talk about a few things. Um, you know, we're studying for our CDL test right now, right? Or the permanent test, you know? And so, and I'm not sure, if, you know, if a lot of people been keeping along with this part right here. I know y'all just like more interested in the cargo van things, but you know, I'm, I'm still, I'll still be driving my cargo van. It's just that those endorsements that come along with having the CDL, you get paid a lot more money. So like, that's that's the whole reason of me like, um. You know, even posting these videos or even talking about it, I was hoping I could, um, you know, for everybody that missed that event that we had, we have another one on the 22nd, but for everybody who missed it, like, you know, it, it was a lot to learn there. So you don't want to miss out on the next one. And then this is what I learned from, um, you know, that event myself. Like, even though I was a part of it, I, was, I still learned, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, that's why we're getting our CDL right now. But anyway, I want to talk about the, um, the insurance quote. So I know, um, I know I say I go get the insurance quote first, but I, it seems like a lot of people don't know how to do that. Like, I'm not sure if y'all just riding around and y'all car without insurance or whatever, but how you get an insurance quote is, okay, first things first, contact a commercial insurance broker in your area. You can Google it, like, and a bunch of, a bunch of them will come, like, it may not be a bunch, but all of them, they have connections. Like, trust me, they work together in, in some type of way. Like you don't have to go through progressive. You can, like I said, if you Google it, you can find a lot. Like trust me. So um, let's see. The first thing you want to do, you want to figure out what type of equipment that that you're gonna use. Like whether it's a um, you no know, truck, trailer, cargo van, semi truck, whatever. Get that van number, whether you have it or not, because you know you're gonna be driving a cargo van, right? So it, like know what year that um, like say for instance, like a 2016 cargo van and a uh, 2022 cargo van. The insurance is gonna be a lot higher on that 2022 than a 2016, all depending on how many miles it has. And um, you know, and like just certain factors like that depend on your financing and all that type of stuff as well. But um, but yeah, so you gonna take that van number, send that van number to your insurance broker, your insurance agent, whatever you wanna call them, and have them in your name, like, you know, tell them that, that that's what you're gonna be driving, that's what you want the insurance for. The insurance you will need one million dollar auto liability and 100k cargo liability don't forget that like make sure they understand that and make sure that it's clear that you're trying to um you know get a quote to see if you're um this is something that you want to do to um get your authority active you know because that's what you're going to need it, it may be it, i think it's i think it's some type of cheaper insurance or an insurance that you don't like you you don't have to have that much insurance to get your authority active but in order to work with brokers, you need to have an insurance. So, just just keep that in mind. You don't you don't really want to find a shortcut or, or try to find a way around it. And, and like I said, um, it was so much stuff to learn in the event. Like, you can make money in a uh, like a Ram City, you know, the smaller cargo van. Like, and you don't even need this expensive insurance. Like, like it, it has its purpose. So, on the twenty second, hey, make sure all of y'all on my like TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, however, if, however you watching me right now. Make sure y'all on the event. All of my social media is I like the bubble. So if you go to my Instagram, like you, you can see where I posted the last event. And when the time come close, I'll post the next one as well. But today we um it was day three of, of um coming to learn our CDL permit, right? So today we studied the combinations part. A lot of people say the combination part was the hardest part. The combination and air brakes for some reason, but um I actually found the combination part pretty easy today. Like I don't, I don't think I think I spent maybe at like a, a little under two hours there today. And yesterday I spent about five to six studying the general knowledge. So like, it all depends on you. You know what I mean? And um, and another thing, like take into consideration that, you know, what may be easy to you or it may not be easy to someone else. So try, try to have a better heart when communicating, when you're talking to people, because like I said, just because you know it, that don't mean that they know it, you know what I'm saying? You don't know everything in the world. Like, what? how would you feel if somebody, um, you know, came to you all sideways and stuff like that just because you don't know something? And I know this not, you know, this not the perfect world, of course, you know, but, you know, j just keep all those things in mind because when you want some, like, I'm, I'm telling you, like, good karma, bad karma, like, all that shit is real. Like, whether you believe it or not, hey, it is real. I, I, I highly believe it. So, um, like, the, the, energy, you, the energy you put out, like, the way you, how you handle situations and how you talk to people, that stuff will come back on you, like, for real. Like, I promise you, like, that, that's the only reason why I was, like, even able to start all this up, just because of, you know, 
just the way I've been treating people like my, I ain't gonna say my whole life, but like at my last job, I was very, I was a very helpful guy. You know what I mean? So, um, all that stuff, like when you're trying to do something, it'll come back on you, trust me. Like whether it's good or bad. But um, yeah, we studied the combinations part today. It was pretty easy. It was only 20 questions and about seven exams. Yeah, seven exams. So it was only about 140 questions we got knocked out pretty, you know, pretty easy. But um, right now we're gonna go, um, I'm gonna head over here to this uh, this place that I had called, right? Cause he was supposed to send me the, uh, like a carry package or something in my email or whatever type of paperwork he wanted me to fill out. But he never sent it to my email so I could, um, you know, start doing loads with that, um, with them specifically because they're behind months and months on their ship shipping due to COVID. It's like a medical company or whatever. So, um, I'm gonna head over there. I'm gonna just go pick up the paperwork. Hopefully I'll get it. I'm, I'm not sure if he, you know, he's going to be able to print it out or he's just going to send it to my email, like right then and there. But either way it go, like I, if I'm face to face with him, I, I, I know I get something and lunchtime is over. It's about one, two o'clock. So, you know, they should be there, but, um, so hopefully I can get that. So as soon as when I'm, um, as soon as I'm done with, um, you know, getting my CDL permit, I gotta be in Georgia, Tennessee, uh, what, February the 3rd through the 7th, I think. So I won't be back down here until maybe like the 10th of February. So I'll be gone a good little while. So hopefully, um, you know, we have all that figured out and we can just start working consistently. Like, I, and the company, they ship locally and then they ship, um, from like Oklahoma and Louisiana. But the thing about it is like Oklahoma, well not Oklahoma, but Louisiana specifically. I don't I don't think they have any um, loads for cargo vans unless it's like literally on those, um, you know, the train tracks or the ports, you know, like little stuff like that. So we got to, um, also while we working on our CDL, we're gonna be getting our Twit card and, um, and my passport as well. So hopefully we have like all that, all the endorsements, everything like that by the, um, by July. Cause I turned 21 in July, so in July, we need to have, we need to make sure we set it up on the hazmat, the tanker, like we need to make sure like we got all that shit, like down packed, ready to go test, CDL class A, stamp, like we, we need to make sure we have all that shit. Cause I'm, I'm telling y'all like, don't, don't miss out on that next event. Cause you miss out on a lot of, on a lot of information. You gotta think, it's, it's thousands of people with cargo vans, thousands. We're separating, you know, people who just are from, from you or myself ain't nothing separating us we're, we're all the same unless you like you know one of these older guys who knew about you know having the cdl having those endorsements having those twit cards a lot of a lot of people not even gonna get up and go get their twit card you know what i mean so hey man hey take this information how you want you may look past these little videos that i'm making about cdl stuff but hey i'm telling y'all each one of my videos i drop some some a lot of information i ain't gonna say a lot of information but it's it's a, a huge piece of information in all these videos well, especially in them lives, like I, I literally go through the whole, on one of my lives, I know I went through the whole uh, process of factoring, like, like bro, like I'm, I'm telling y'all, y'all ain't gonna get that shit nowhere else, right? And so, you know, just keep it easy, but we finna go ahead over here, you know, I'll get y'all update in a few minutes or, or you know, a few seconds to y'all, but for me, it's gonna be like the next 20, 30 minutes or whatever, so, you know, just stay tuned for that, and we're gonna keep growing, I'm, I'm, you know, and bringing y'all along my whole experience in this, in this business, because I didn't just, you know, I ain't gonna say I was misguided or misled when coming into here, but I feel like somebody just need to come out and, you know, show the truth or, you know, show the real thing that, that goes on behind it without, you know, being an asshole or, you know, talking down on people. Cause that, that's what, that's what this shit seemed to be. And I, and I realized that because it's um like these older guys that's been in the business, right? They like to make fun of new guys, like, like you know, the basic questions or whatever, wherever they ask. And of course you can go online and Google it, right? But like like I said, that's that that may be a part of the reason why everything just so fucked up in the business. Honestly. Just poor communication. Everybody think wanna think that they're better than each other. You know, little small stuff like that, but you know, hey but um like I said, I'm gonna just show y'all my experience, good, bad, ugly, all that stuff. Like like when I was on I posted a video on TikTok about a ninety cent a mile truck. Bottom them down truck of drug, boy. Say man, boy, it wasn't that nice. Ain't nobody had nothing nice to say for real, for real. I think I, out of them 200 comments, maybe only like five good comments, bro. I was like, damn. But anyway, man. All right, so we just got finished talking with the um this company that I um been trying to get on with. 
But um, the thing is that it's not them that's back up. They do the shipping for another company, right? So they're basically in control of all the shipping that another warehouse does. So this is basically their uh, like headquarters, whatever, right? And so the thing is like, yes, they are months behind on their shipping, but it's problems like within the warehouse or, or whatever he was telling me. Um, So he said he won't even have things ready until about maybe like another, um, like another month. And I asked, I was like, so should I hit you up in about a month's time or a, um, like in the middle of February? He was like, you know what, the middle of February. So, um, but he told me he also has four other drivers waiting right now. So, um, he was also like, you don't, you don't really need that, that big of a truck. Like a, um, like what I want to say, a, um, like a box truck or anything like that, like a 26, you, you don't need all that. He was telling me how, um, like, since it's just medical supplies, honestly, that's what it is. Right. So, um. He was telling me you, you only need us, anything that can just hold four thousand pounds. So I was like, you know what? That that's exactly what my cargo van holds. And I was like, I got another driver ready. And I, I was just telling him about that. How well stuff I'm not gonna talk about on social media, but um, but yeah. So pretty soon we'll be set up with these guys and, and whatever. So you know, if we're still on the road or if we haven't found any other contracts, you know, we're gonna you know keep these guys in mind. But as for now, like e even though that's that's not the best news, you know you still got to keep pushing like you got to get out and do that groundwork sometime because like, like i said i um I, I talked to him he recognized my voice as soon as i walked in there right and the crazy part about it he from selma too like he is exactly where i'm from so i like i just know he'll be able to work something out with me you know um so because what happened was I, he was writing my number down writing my number tonight he's like birmingham and i was like yeah i'm from no i'm not from birmingham but i'm from selma he said man stop playing i'm from selma then you just end up chopping up from there. So like I said uh, in one of my last videos, you wanna you wanna break it up with these guys. You don't wanna just seem so stiff like you are just all about business. You wanna make these people feel comfortable with using you. You know what I mean? So, and I told him um, that's when he went back and um, said, "Oh, so you got an owner operator and another driver?" Like, like dang, bro. Like he was just like, "Wow." And so um, I just went on talking. We talked about a good 10, 15 minutes, honestly. You know, just most of about business and it, you know. Had a little side small talk, broke the ice with him, you know. But and and that's how you always want to keep it. You don't you don't want to you know be strictly about business. Of course you want to be about business, but make these people feel comfortable. You know what I mean? But I'm not gonna hold this video this part of the video too long. I'm a, um I didn't realize I was talking so much in the last video, right? And so also I'm a, uh at the end of this video right here, I'm gonna put up the uh my my practice exam scores right here. So um. And my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. All four of those, that is, I like the bubbles. Facebook, Joshua K. Lewis. So y'all know, y'all go look at all the social medias because I promise you, um, like all the information is there. I think like literally the only piece of information I left out is, is this one right here in the front of this video about the insurance quote. So just go take the time out and go watch all those videos because I promise you like the whole like, bro, I tell y'all the whole nine and more. Like, I promise you. Like, this stuff about this insurance court right here that I just put in this video, ain't nobody else gonna tell you that. So, like, I promise you, it's, whether it's that five-hour live or whatever, like, that information is there. But with all that being said, hey, y'all continue to be blessed.